Breaking news today. Putin as Superman and death prophecies. Russian state media reported a few days ago that Russian President Vladimir Putin had died of a heart attack. The channel is reportedly run by a public relations expert named Valery Soloviev. All of humanity was affected by these troubling incidents, but the world as a whole failed to recover from them. We've seen a lot of these kinds of deals in the past few years. But the Kremlin's response to the most recent incident of this kind is truly fascinating. Kremlin propaganda has reacted predictably to rumors about the death of the Russian president. Images of Putin in a coffin, Putin walking through a tire factory, Putin in the cockpit of a Russian fighter jet, Putin taking off from a runway as the pilot of a Russian military jet, Putin flying over the Arctic as a VDCE hedge Najib. The Kremlin spin doctors have proven beyond a reasonable doubt that the Russian president is a kind of Superman who exists despite the normal human categories of weakness and even death. The most recent spate of similar leaks has apparently left the Kremlin cold. The president's office was a total mess, and I couldn't find anything to do to cheer myself up. Jack Ona, talk I ruske tajne slusby mok dobre chapo, Jack to visechno bahekni funguya, Vladimir Putin se stal tezistum zibaznovani si neopak ninavisti milanu lidi a fama o jaho smrti je na nikolik ni odsozina ke tomu, a bai by la visiobekni proberana m noam dyktaveji nez situase na blizkem vichod si na ukraine. His death is expected with little fanfare, especially in those parts of the world where people live in fear every day as a result of the violence this man unleashed. Finally, it's over. Anyone who believes the conspiracy theories about Putin's health or the health of his two wives is working for Putin's own propaganda. As the famous Russian journalist Ivan Preobrazhensky put it, there are a number of factors that come into play. Unsolicited publication of such families leads to the development of manipulative propaganda for daily agendas. If we share a similar worldview, we'd like to remove from consideration everything that isn't absolutely necessary at the moment, and we'd like to be included in any future discussions about the state of the planet. Putin's discredited Fedjki are being rehabilitated in both Russia's isolated regions thanks to this new policy. It's old, and that's a fact that really surprises the Russians. His death has sparked a heated debate among his friends and family. Talk VY Kate, Asia Star? Finally, it's over. And finally, in just a few words, Mr. Preobrazinsky recalls, the real health of the Russian president and his world is an extremely important topic because the lives and health of millions of people are directly affected by the actions of such a small group of people under a dictatorship. When we finally begin our op-ed on Putin's death, we'll have plenty of time to mull over your reactions. The author is a commentator on Czech politics.